Scott. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about da -da 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 Dash. So Dash, what is Dash cryptocurrency? Well, um, what are they looking to do that's different? Why are they different from Bitcoin? What is so special about them? What do they do exactly? All that and more in this video, guys. Stay tuned. Let's check it out. First, let's get into our wisdom one-liner. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 12. Apply your heart to instruction and your ears to words of knowledge. Good wisdom right there, guys. Remember, listen to someone who's wiser than you. You don't always know everything. There's a reason you have two ears and one mouth. All right, so Dash, let's see what the charts look like. So here's some tokenomics. Um, let's see, where is it? Ah, here it is. So it's 18,920,000 total. Right now they only have 9,877,000 circulating. So this was previously like a $1,500 coin and it's sitting at like 100 bucks, $102. So um, it's definitely suppressed right now. Um, you guys are like, man, whoa, what's going on? Well, let's get into it. Let's tell you about the project. So this is not a proof of stake blockchain. A lot of people think, oh, they got master nodes, all kinds of stuff. Oh, that's great. Uh, but no, it's still proof of work. So it is a proof of work, but they do have an option where you can become a master node and basically um, take part in the fees. So you'll in regards to like the transactions that take place on the blockchain, um, you have an option to get like 10 to 15% of it. So uh, see, um, vote each month on up to 10% of the block reward to fund community projects, etc. cetera. So um, basically when you're a master node, you'll, uh, AKA you get um, a percentage of the transactions. So if you guys are a company and you accept um, transaction fees or, or accept, accept transactions then you have transaction fees or if you guys are using like um, paypal sending money and the merchant gets charged like three dollars for like a fifty dollar transaction or something that's what the master node is the master node is getting that transaction fee so if you ever wanted to be a credit card processor this is how you do it you just get dash um let's see yeah a thousand dash or more that's how you can get a um a master node or yeah, master node. So right now that's currently going to set you back about 10 G's. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. There's also other ways you can just stake. So you can stake with some of the different nodes. So you can do Binance, Whitebit, CrowdNode, uh, Smart Valor, and you can get like 5% or 6%. So you can um, borrow or earn interest with Dash as well. But yeah, it's a, it's a cool project. Um, that what they're trying to do is basically be uh, extremely fast transactions. So if you guys see this, um, look, this is huge. A lot of people are like, oh no, Visa, credit cards, they're the best. They get uh, like 16,000 transactions per second and Dash is only 56 transactions per second. Well, here's the difference. Per transaction, speed is one second. The settlement per transaction is one second. So if you guys think about Visa, yeah, it's three seconds, it's quick, they can do so much. It's three business days. You guys aren't on the business side, so you guys don't understand it. But it's three business days. So what's in, what's incentive? What's the incentive is for the businesses? Oh, I can get my money instantly. I'd rather use Dash and know it's there. Boom, done. Now the cost per transaction it's less than a penny. With credit cards, up to seven percent, depending on how the merchant is. That's where the case comes in with Dash. Yeah, sure, you have Bitcoin, but Bitcoin, everyone knows those transaction fees are ridiculous. Um, Dash may have a problem with scaling, in my opinion, because they only have 56 transactions per second. But they do have a lot of adoption and they do have a lot of room for growth. So keep that in mind. Here's Dash's roadmap. They're doing pretty good with um, the master nodes, budget systems. These, All these are already complete. Um, they already have their own Dash wallet. This is actually going to be rolled out pretty soon. Um, so you can actually currently spend Dash. So you can go to the Dash gift card store. Uh, you can spend it at Travala. Um, well, if you guys want to buy some chicken, go to Venezuela. Uh, actually, you can go to Remax um, and pay for a house in Venezuela too, which is nice. NordVPN, that's cool. So you can actually buy that part in the United States. Um, so yeah. Oh, Gainesville Coins. Uh, you can actually buy some gold and silvers with some Dash. Didn't know that. Wow. 
small world, right? Um, so yeah, you can see what the other things are uh, just by going to this link, checking it out. It's loading forever. Um, anyways, you guys can research more about it. This is just an introductory video. So Dash, what they're looking to do is basically, this is what I like about them. They have a feature that's instant send. So there's no other cryptocurrency that is doing this. They allow you to send a transaction instantly. Just boom, done. That's that's what sets Dash apart different from everyone else. Uh, their fees are low, which is nice. They don't have the lowest fees. Um, they are secure, but they aren't the most secure. Bitcoin is the most secure network because it's the biggest. So that's how you get more secure with a uh, proof of work network is, well, more adoption, more people, and so on. Um, they currently have 4,800 plus merchants as of Q3, and they do grow. Um, they're listed on several exchanges, over 260. You guys can buy them. You can even buy them simply on Coinbase. So um, it's really easy to buy. Uh, you can pay your friends, airfare, bills, groceries, dining, shop online. Um, you guys can really read all this stuff yourself, too. Um, I don't really need to read it to you. If you're watching this, I did want to show you this video. Check Dash, this out. Or maybe even what is digital currency? Well, Dash is digital cash. Money exchanged on a highly secure, open source, peer-to-peer -peer network. Much like Bitcoin. But unlike Bitcoin, it is a it's Bitcoin really the first port. form of digital cash that works just like physical cash. Your money isn't held in a central banking organization. Instead, you hold your money in a safe and easy way, maintaining full control. This means that you have total privacy when it comes to your purchases. Your transactions can't be tracked by any organization or curious third parties. Instead, your information is private. Another great benefit is that transactions can occur instantaneously. There's no wait or lag. Money changes hands right away, just like handing over physical cash when making a purchase. And because Dash is truly fungible, it's the first real working form of true digital cash. That means Dash really is private, instantaneous, and secure. With Dash, fees are extremely low, or... If you guys don't know what fungible means, it basically... Like, if you guys exchange dollars, they aren't... Well, they, they do have serial numbers. Yeah, I'll give you that much. But one dollar is another. Like, with the problem with Bitcoin is if it comes from, uh, let's say, Silk Road or uh, someone who is buying drugs with it and that coin was labeled, that coin maybe flag so like if you take it on coinbase or one of the exchanges they'll they'll be the question you say hey how did you get this crypto how did you have this uh, is this yours da, 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 da. with dash it's all fungible so it's like oh you have dash oh okay cool dash dash whatever dash dash instead it's like bitcoin oh bitcoin bad bitcoin good there there are such thing as virgin bitcoins which are basically bitcoins that are freshly mined and some people are thinking or, or not thinking but they are um, discussing and arguing whether they do hold more value or not. And in my opinion, they, they do hold more value because if you take a token that's been used for illegal purposes and you get flagged for using it, it should cost less than a token would be if you're able to just say, yeah, here's my Bitcoin and everything's good to go. Completely non-existent. No bank is sitting in the middle of everything and charging you to hold or use your money. Instead, you've got the power. Anyone can use Dash anywhere in the world at any time. Just download the wallet for free and get started. You can buy or sell goods and services, contribute to projects or charities, send money to family and friends and more. All without boundaries. And this is just the beginning. Dash is digital cash. To learn more on how Dash is building the... F so yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. Basically, they're trying to be like Bitcoin, but... The, you guys know the problem with Bitcoin is scaling. D Dash, I think they'll have the same issue as well, uh, or as well with the transaction fees. Um, but right now they are sustainable. Um, I, I think they still have some room for growth. But I believe we'll be in a future where there isn't going to be one digital currency. So just like we have several other currencies today, I believe there will be one major one. I don't know if it's Bitcoin or not. Um, I don't know the future. And if someone tells you they know the future, they don't know it. <laughs> they're, they're lying to you. No one knows the future. Sure, you can make predictions and maybe right, but no one knows the future 100%. It, I see a world maybe like this. Um, this is just theoretical 
Bitcoin will be your um, the the main dollar or like the United States dollar is the currency of the world. Um, then obviously you'll have smaller currencies, currencies like the euro, the renminbi, uh, the peso, uh, and, and so on. So if, if you guys have any questions or if I missed on anything, um, go ahead and leave a comment in the video. I'll explain it a little better and I'll reply to your comment. But the biggest thing I like about Dash, this, this is a recap of the video, is small transaction times, one second, the settlement per transaction is one second. Guys, that's not the same with Visa or even with Bitcoin or PayPal. No one wants to sit in a store for 60 minutes and make sure that the owner gets his actual, uh, gets his Bitcoin. No one wants to do that. Same thing with PayPal. No one wants to wait eight days. You've heard of these, well, you guys maybe haven't heard of them, but a lot of owners um, get taken on PayPal scams. They'll send a product and they've already gotten paid on PayPal and the customers disputes the payment and uh, the payment goes through and then that goes through the bank and then they have to wait 60 days for mediation uh, to prove that, hey, they got this product in order to win the dispute. It's just a ridiculous process and it shouldn't be like that. You make the payment, you agreed to make the payment, that's it, end of story. But um, either way, so my, my main things are instant transactions, it is pretty secure. It's not as secure as Bitcoin and the fees are low. So that that's my take on uh, Dash. This is what I think of the project. Um, my predictions on the price. Well, it, it is a, it's way undervalued compared to what it used to be. It definitely has some room to grow. And I love the instant send um, option of it. So I mean, like if you guys are trading on exchanges and you see like a, a, a price difference, you can send that Bitcoin or that Dash instantly to um, the exchange and boom, you can make a trade. Sure, five minutes may not seem like much, but it is. So guys, if you like this video, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and go ahead and hit that bell notification. That way you guys get notified every time we make a new video like this so you guys can learn some stuff. Um, and if you guys didn't like the video, smash that dislike button. Anyways, thanks for, thanks for watching guys and... Happy holidays.